Wow. Wow, wow. Hello, I'm Mason. Welcome to the second episode of my shark series. In the first episode, we have finished making the sea. Now, we should start working on the fin, the shark fin. As always, we have to first make a new sprite. Before drawing anything, we select the right color. Depends on what kind of shark you have in mind, you should select a color to suit your style. Your shark's style. A cartoon shark or a realistic shark? Draw the shape of a fin. You can use the tool we have talked in another episode before to modify the curve. There are many control points on our curve. You can delete some of them with the backspace key. Hold the shift key to select multiple control points. Then press backspace. Drag the handles on both sides to modify the curve. Okay, when it's done, we can give this sprite a name. Now, drag the shark fin into the sea. We might want to resize the fin a bit because if the fin is too big, our shark can only swim so far on our stage. Drag out the green flag event it means our shark movement will be started when the green flag is clicked. I do not want my fin in front of the sea, so I want it to go to the back. Now I fixed the Y position on stage so our shark cannot dive any deeper into the sea but I want the X position to be random so our shark can start at any point on the X axis the horizontal position Observe the background image on our stage we can see that the X position is from negative 240 to positive 240. Consider the width of our fin. We can input negative 220 and positive 220 into the random block. So our plan is to get the shark fin to interact with our mouse pointer. But how do we do that? We can try a couple of things. First, how about to point towards mouse pointer? Because we want the shark fin to keep interacting with our mouse pointer, so we wrap it inside a forever block. Hmm, you see, the shark fin keeps turning when our mouse is moving. Although the interaction is there, but this effect is absolutely not what we are looking for. Hmm, a dead end for us. Let's delete the block. Let's try another one. 
with the go to block BL block. Let's try it. Hmm. This time, our sharp fin snaps into the position of our mouse. This is not what we want. Alright, let me introduce you a simple way. We will have another way to do this in episode 3. This is the time for me to introduce you the if then block. Obviously, it means if you satisfy a certain condition, say condition A, then Scratch will run the code wrapped inside the if then block. Let's give this block a condition. Say, if the position X of our mouse is bigger than 0, the shark fin has to say hello. You can observe the background of our stage. X0 and Y0 is at the center of our stage, which means our mouse moved to the positive side of the X axis, the fin should say hello. We've finished test the if then block. Let's try the if then else block. This block allows two consequences. Say, if the condition A is satisfied, it will lead us to consequence 1 or path 1. Otherwise, else, it will lead us to consequence 2 or path 2. So, two different filters. Let's try it. This time, if the X position of our mouse is bigger than 0, then the fin should say positive. Else, if it is less than 0, it should say negative. It works fine. It's time for us to duplicate costume 1 into costume 2. Let's select it and flip it horizontally. You see, I want the fin to face one direction when the X position of our mouse is positive. Otherwise, when it is negative, I want the fin to face the other direction. It also means we have to switch the costume. This is how we do it. Don't forget to set the initial costume. Testing time! Hmm, it looks strange, don't you think? The shark fin doesn't look like the one I draw, don't you think? Do you know what I have done wrong? Yeah, I forget to rotate it back because we have experiment with the direction before. Change the direction back. So, it is fixed now. Let's try again. Now the direction is fine, the facing direction is also okay. But, it does not move. I need my shark to swim. To do that, we need another if-then block. This time our condition would be, if the X position of our mouse is bigger than the X position of our fin. Then we should change x in the positive direction by 10. Hmm. Now we have to do the same for the negative direction. Testing! This time, I want to move my fin a bit forward. Maybe a layer forward? Seems okay, but there is a gap. You see it? Let me fine-tune the Y position. Make the shark dive deeper. Maybe we can also consider to make our fin a bit longer.
Ta-da! It's done! In next episode, we will explore another method. And we will also look into the shark body. I mean, draw it. Hey, you are at the point of no return. Please give me a like and subscribe, my friend. Hope I can see you next time in episode 3. See you next time. Bye-bye. Subscribe, subscribe. Give me some motivation.